hey guys welcome to my channel this is alicia's kitchen now in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i made my super cheesy lasagna if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet please go ahead and do so also to turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when i post new videos now let's cook for my ingredients we have ground beef i also have some mozzarella cheese i have my lasagna sheets and i'm using goat cheese because i absolutely love goat cheese i love the creaminess of it, it it's just so good guys it's a mess <laughs> i'm also using marinara i have my season which includes oregano paprika and meat season i'm also using sugar just to cut that acidity from the marinara now guys in a medium frying pan i'm adding oil i'm gonna allow that to heat and then i'm gonna add my ground beef now i'm just breaking that apart with a wooden spoon and i'm gonna change that wooden spoon and i'm gonna be using a whisk now guys with a whisk i realize that it helps to prevent any lumps It's just super easier, you know? Now I'm going to cook that through until the color is no longer pink. Just like this, guys. Now I'm going to add my seasonings, which includes the meat season, the oregano, and the chili powder. Now it's time to add our sugar. And all marinero. Now, guys, I'm also going in with about two tablespoons of ketchup. Now, I'm gonna stir this for a little bit, then, I'm gonna allow it to reduce. Now moving over to cooking our lasagna sheets. Now in a saucepan on high heat, I add water. I'm gonna allow that to boil. Then I'm gonna cook my lasagna sheets according to the package instruction. Now once the noodles are cooked, you're going to drain and rinse and place them in a large bowl with cold water. So now guys, I'm placing my lasagna sheet on the bottom of that Parix dish. Now I'm going to spread my meat sauce all over that lasagna sheet. All over it guys. And then I'm gonna add my goat cheese and oh my goodness, this was so good. Oh, so good. I've made my lasagna with ricotta and it was so good also, but oh my goodness. Just the creaminess from the goat cheese. Oh, now guys, I'm gonna be repeating the same process. Lasagna sheet, then your meat sauce. my goodness i just love lasagna i mean i'm just a pasta fan overall <laughs> i love italian food 
and then your goat cheese I just can't stop talking about this goat cheese <laughs> I love goat cheese plus it has less fat than you know cow cheese so you know then I'm adding some mozzarella then layering that with the sheet again and this is a final layer guys Now I'm just going to top that off with more cheese. Just be generous, guys. You cannot be stingy with us. There's no such thing as too much cheese on your lasagna. I always say that. The more cheese, the better. Now I'm adding dried parsley, it's just going to give it that beautiful color when it's baked. Now guys, I'm going to be baking this for about 15 to 20 minutes in a preheated oven. And this is the final product. Guys, you see all that goat cheese peeking out? Oh my goodness. That was so good, guys. I love you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet. Turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when I post new videos. Love you guys so much for stopping by. See you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.